Some of you commented on the yummy cake we ate in one of our last videos. Well, here's the recipe for all you bakers. It's quite simple and extremely tasty. First, cut out a piece of baking paper which fits the bottom of the baking tin you are going to use. Grease the tin, put the paper in and grease the sides of the tin as well. There are three different lots of ingredients for this cake. The dry stuff, flour, baking powder, cinnamon and ginger. The moist stuff, oil, sugar, eggs. And the crunchy and zesty stuff, lemon peel, walnuts and carrots. Prepare the carrots first. Then mix all the dry ingredients together in a large bowl. Next, mix all the moist ingredients in a separate bowl. Add this moist mix to the dry stuff. Then add in all the crunchy and zesty ingredients. Mix well. Put in the prepared tin and bake in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for an hour or a bit more. The cake is baked when it bounces back. While you wait for the cake to cool, you can spend the time using up all the leftover carrots. Thank you. Don't be donkey. No, you're Marta. You're not a donkey, I can tell. Oh well, you get a little bit as well. There you go. I thought the donkeys might be hungry for them. But today, everyone out there seems to have a craving for carrots. Oh, it's gone now. Okay. I don't think I have any problem getting rid of my carrots, do I? Sharing is caring, Gordon. Sharing is caring. Come on, can't have it all. The cake is delicious on its own. Sometimes I like to serve the cake with some icing. This is a lemon and cream fresh drizzle. Decorate with edible flowers if you fancy. Nasturtiums, chives, mint, borage and calendia look very pretty, I think. And then enjoy.